Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is a general reading. That being said, it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. That being said, um, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated and I do thank you in advance. So that being said, um, we are going to begin this reading. This is a channeled reading with the universe and your spirit guides. This is a channeled reading for the beautiful sign of Aries. So my dear friend Aries, um, let's begin and let's go see what kind of messages um, the universe and spirit guide has for you. We're going to begin with first light, which is beginning a new cycle. We also have fogged in. We have gates of triumph and we have grace and attitude. As usual, take whatever's good with you. If you only have two messages that are good for you, well then those are your messages. So let's begin over here with first light. This is all about a beginning of a new cycle. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and to start again. Wipe that slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it is now time to set your sights onto the future and to let go of that past. Now the universe would like you to know that the traveler here, because these are all travelers, the traveler, which is you, faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle has begun. So new beginnings are often fraught with the unknown, let's put it that way. Yet, if you observed and on the extended journey, you're going to see that life goes in a circle. In the cycle of life, not in a circle, but in a cycle, I'm sorry. In the cycle of life, I have to say that the plants, what do they do? They die in the autumn. So there can be a new birth in the spring. In the spring, the sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. So there's a time to end and there's a time for beginning for us also. In your life, it is... It's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another, which is coming. So you need to face your fear about the unknown and you need to be willing to begin anew. And if you do so, you are going to succeed. So moving on over to the following message over here, we are going to go with you are fogged in. So let's go slow. Let's take our time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, you need to go forward. But I mean, you need to go slowly and you need to go gently. You are safe and when you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. You miss all those signposts if you go fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you just relax and you let yourself live into the present moment. Sometimes the universe wants you to, to acknowledge and to know that sometimes the mist and the fog are so thick that we really feel uncertain about simply everything. Where am I going with this? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, those are all questions you could be asking yourself. It is in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and the most profound answers to life's big questions can really emerge. The, the secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off of your path. You need to be careful. You need to proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction for you. 
You need to listen to the whisperings of your soul. You need to trust your inner voice. Moving on over, we're going to go to the gates of triumph. And this is success expands in your life. The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you. Inner and outer success is coming your way. Thriving is a state of mind. Accept that you can reach any goal that you desire. And even more, victories are going to expand in your life. The more you feel it, the more love, the more prosperity, the more fame, fortune, and will are going to pour into your life. Now, the universe wants you to know that arriving in a foreign hamlet you know, rests a flower or placed around the sacred traveler's shoulders, because this again is a, is a, um, is a traveler, we have to say that there's challenges that you're going to be faced with, that you're going to overcome, and this is about welcoming with open, with open arms. If a situation knocks you over, what you need to do is you need to get up and you need to brush it off yourself. You need to discover what you've learned. You aren't a failure if you fall down, only if you stay down. So keep going and believe in yourself. This is what true success is. So you need to acknowledge your accomplishments in life. They are more than you imagine. Victory, good fortune, and triumph, they are all at hand. You need to move slowly. And if you fall, you need to get right back up. And the final message from the universe and your spirit guides is grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy simply expands. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. It's simple, it's easy, it's so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy and it can yield happiness, grace and peace but beyond your imagination. The secrets to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and what turns are ahead into the road on your, on your journey, whether you are comfortable or if you're uncomfortable, whether you're confident or you're unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem unsurmountable, Feeling grateful is going to ease any challenge. You need to replace the darkness with light and allow you to hear the chorus of the angels. Your entire life can simply transform when you take that time to fully, deeply and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. And this, my dear friend Aries, does conclude your beautiful reading with the universe and your spirit guides. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some um, interesting insight to bring upon your path. If you do have any questions, you would like a reading, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. Um, please don't forget to subscribe before leaving, and I will see you tomorrow with a new message. Many blessings to you.